Hi, this is James at C2. Welcome back to our latest tutorial. This tutorial covers the use of dialogues. This tutorial is split into two parts. In the first part, I'll show you how a dialogue works, showing you an example of one in action. In the second part, we'll then move on to show you how to set up a dialogue. If you'd like to jump to the second part, just click on the message displayed on the screen now. Otherwise, continue viewing and you can watch part one. Dialogues are one of uh, CRM's processes. They're similar to workflows with some very important differences. The main differences being workflows can run unattended. So you can set up a workflow, for example, to run on the creation of an account. The user doesn't have to put any more input into it. The workflow just runs itself. Whereas dialogues are interactive, they require user intervention. So a user must interact with a dialogue in some way. Another important difference is workflows can be started manually or triggered by an event, but the dialogues must be done manually. There is no way to start a dialogue automatically. Dialogues can be used for things such as marketing surveys, they could be used for contact center scripts and such things, such things like that. They're really only limited by your own imagination and your organization's needs. So let's go in and have a look at the CRM and we'll show you dialogue in action dialogue on our lead entity. The reason for doing this is that when we capture leads in our business, we have set up a dialogue to run against our leads. Our leads as a business mean that we can set up leads with very limited information. Part of our business process, what we like to do is give the prospective customer a call, we'll capture some more information and we can then progress the lead onto our sales team. So, to view the dialogue, we go to the lead record, because that's what it's been created on, and I'm going to run it against the third one down, Mr. Logan Wise. Now, as we said, dialogues must be started manually, and dialogues are started by going to the More Commands area and clicking Start Dialogue. CRM will then look up to all the dialogues available for that entity. In our example, we only have one, which we've called Lead Analysis. So I'll click Add to run this dialogue. The dialogue opens in a pop-up window and the user can interact with it. Now in our example, the first page that comes up is a welcome page. And as it says here in the tip, this dialogue is used to capture further info relating to our auto-created leads. So I hit Next. And the way we've set it up, is the first thing the user reads out to the prospective customer is in blue here. It says, hello, and then it populates the lead name. As requested, I'm going to discuss your inquiry made with us on, and then it enters the lead creation date. Is it a good time to talk? Now, I'm going to choose yes at this point and click next. And the dialog will then show the next page, which is to be shown wherever user has selected yes. In this case, it opens up a new page where we can enter four pieces of information. However, I'd like to show you how the dialogue works. So I'm going to hit previous and I'm going to change it to no. And this time when I hit next, what happens is it displays a different screen. In this case, we prompt the user to read out to the customer, I appreciate that, I'll give you a call again another time, when would be good for you? And shows a date picker, so the user can go in there, pick a date to call the customer back, and a time. Now you'll notice the user can also add comments here. I'll show you how important that is later on. We hit next, it then populates the next page that we've scheduled to be shown in this dialogue, which says, thank you for your time today. As agreed, we will call back and it gives a date and timestamp. Click next, then we finish the dialogue. Now I'm going to refresh the record and show you what we've done in the background. Part of our dialogue process means when we have taken the time and date of the call from the customer, it automatically creates an activity. So we can see here that a call has been created, which is due on the date and time that we specified for this customer to be called back. To show you a different journey using the same dialogue, I'm going to go into another lead. And this time I'm not going to use Logan Wise, I'm going to use Amory Miles. So we'll go in there. Again, I'm going to run the dialogue, so I'll run that from here, start dialogue, hit add to run it, and we'll see the same script comes up. So this dialogue is used to capture further info relating to our auto-created leads. I'll click next. I'll say that yes, on this occasion, it is a good time. Amory Miles is available to talk. So what is your job title? Now, if we look at the record here, you'll see job title is not populated. So I'm going to put it in here that 
Avery Miles is the managing director. And we have an email address on file of me tempor. I'm going to pretend that Amy Mayo says that is their personal email address. I want to change it to another more appropriate one. So let's say amiles at microsoft.com. What is the name of your company employer? Let's say they work for us. And what is the company's website address? Let's type that in. We'll hit next. Then our dialog prompts the user to make the full sales pitch to the client. In this example, I'm going to pretend that it was unsuccessful. So we select unsuccessful from here and hit next. It gives them a sign off script to read out to the customer. So we'll hit next and then finish. And now when we refresh, you'll see a few things have happened to this lead based on the entry that was made on the dialog. As we can see, our dialog has made a few changes to the record. Firstly, the job title has been populated. The email has been populated. The company and the website as we put in. And our dialog has been set that when a sales pitch has been made and it's unsuccessful, you'll notice the lead has become disqualified. So by using a dialogue, users can interact with your entities and make changes as they go. And that's a dialogue in action. As ever, if you've got any queries or you'd be interested in a free trial, just give us a thumbs up, get in contact, and we'll be happy to provide you with all the information you require. Thanks for watching.